Yep. Hey everybody, uh, welcome to a little video I decided to do to talk about Dark Souls 3. I am a huge Dark Souls fan. I beat Dark Souls 1 and 2 and I cannot wait until the third one comes out. Um, I'm actually uh, debating on whether to go back and play through Dark Souls 1 again. You see, as a Dark Souls fan, I've been called many things. I've been called a sadomasochist or or a, a, a somebody who enjoys pleasure from pain. I've been called a raving lunatic for for being subjected to that much torture and death, and and the list goes on and on. But uh, being a Dark Souls fan just means I'm a fan of good games. You see, the combat in Dark Souls is some of the best ever fucking programmed in a game. The combat is is so good. The storyline's good too. Now it's it's hard to kind of pick up on the storyline from from the games. I mean most people just hack and slash their way through it, don't really pay attention to what's going on. But if you really sit back and, and go and if you go back and do the research from uh, Demon Souls all the way up to Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, then I think uh, I think you'll be surprised. The enemies are fantastic. The world is fantastic. The graphics are always great. FPS rate is great as well. Everything about the game is great. Everything about the game is great. Except it's multiplayer, but I can forgive it for that because Dark Souls was really meant to be played as a single player game. Um, the, the maps and everything was laid out for single player combat. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they're, they're multiplayers there, but I never use it because I, I think it's meant to be a single-player game. Now, how do I, as a Dark Souls fan, get ready for Dark Souls 3? Well, that's, that's quite simple. I uh, pay a Russian prostitute to come over to my house and waterboard me for three hours a day. That way, when I play the game, it doesn't have the satisfaction of breaking me because I've broken myself. starting to go crazy. Fucking crazy. What? Shut up. Fuck. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, how I prepared myself for Dark Souls 3 is just going back and playing through Dark Souls 1 and maybe 2. Um, you know, just, just kind of prepare myself, you know, because the, the fact of the matter is you're going to fucking die. Okay? It, it doesn't matter how good you are. You're going to fucking die. And you're gonna die a lot. You can be the best Dark Souls 1 player on the face of the fucking planet, beat the game of Soul Level 1, and not die through the whole damn thing. But, you remember the first time you played it? How many times did you die? A lot? Yeah, I thought so. Same way with Dark Souls 3. You're gonna die a lot. It doesn't matter. I mean, I remember Dark Souls 2 the first time I died. I was just looking up in the sky, looking and enjoying the scenery at the hub world. I was just like, wow, this place is beautiful. And fell off the fucking edge of the cliff. Yeah, that was probably my funniest death in video games. I wish I wish I would have been recording that. Because <laughs> it, was, it was fucking great. Fell off the edge of the cliff right there. So something cool that they did in Dark Souls 2 was in the hub world... They put that uh, that middle stone in there, and you could actually walk up to it and see the see your personal deaths and see the worldwide player death count. I thought that was really neat, and it got up there quick, very, very quick. And I suspect they're eh, whatever that they're going to do something like similar to like that to Dark Souls Three. And I cannot wait to see you know how many times I die throughout the playthrough. I know Dark Souls Two. Um, Dark Souls 2 was easier than Dark Souls 1. I don't forgot how many times I died, but it was over a hundred, definitely over a hundred. Uh, so, you, but Dark Souls 1, I, I, I estimate that I died probably about 300 times playing through that game. But I also played through the game like two times, three times, I think, two and a half maybe. I played through the game multiple times and. Uh, the second time I played through it was a lot better. Uh, I didn't die as much because I knew what the fuck I was doing. First time I played through it, I was lost. I was fucking lost and just 
I died so many times to those skeletons right at the start of the game. And, or not right at the start of the game, but, you know, um, shit, what's the place called? At your, at your first bonfire, right there. The skeletons at your first bonfire. I fucking died so much right there. So, all in all, I cannot wait for Dark Souls 3. Just can't fucking wait for it. I need it now in my life. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, tried to throw a little bit of comedy in there mixed with a little bit of information and some backstory about Dark Souls 3. I think Dark Souls 3 is going to be my next big playthrough. So, um, you guys be prepared for that. Be prepared for a lot of death and uh, some grinding and stuff like that. I don't know. <clears throat> if you guys want to see like the very full playthrough, like every time I die and I have to respawn and go through it again and again and again, then let me know. Or if you guys just want me to edit it, uh, chop it up and edit it, edit out my deaths and just get the gist of the game, let me know that. Uh, leave it in the comments. I cannot wait to get started on this game. I'm going to be so fucking hyped when it comes out. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. Alright, I'm Cody from Some Guys Gaming, your one stop shop for everything awesome. We have a Patreon and No Scope Glasses sponsorship in the description. If you wanna click on either one of them, both of them uh, help us out in the long run. And if you wanna hit that subscribe button, would really, really appreciate it. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Hold on. <coughs> <coughs> Yep.